Because knitting in the round is worked in a spiral, whenever we change the color to make a stripe, there appears a jog that basically looks like a broken line. Not the end of the world, but an imperfection. In this tutorial, I'll show you three ways to fix that inevitable jog. In all three ways, we don't do anything special until we get to the beginning of the second round worked in the new color. As you see, I changed the color uh, one round before and then I worked one round in the color and now I come to the, to the beginning of the second round and now it's time to take action. So the first thing you can do to, uh, to fix the jog is to slip the first stitch, just like this. Pearl wise insert the right needle from right to left. Slip the first stitch and then knit the or work whatever your pattern is, the rest of the stitches and that's gonna be your second round in the color. I'm gonna work this round to show you how it looks after the round is finished, okay? And here it is, the last stitch of the second round in the golden color. I'm going to rearrange the needles and get ready for the next stripe. That's going to be in olive color. And uh, meanwhile, I'll show you how this little trick looks on the needles. So basically what happens, you can tell this is the slip stitch. And what happens, by slipping the stitch, we kind of even out this jog so it's not visible anymore. And that was the first way. Now I'm going to change the color. It's going to be olive. Let me find it here. And work on the next stripe. And at the end of the, sec of the first round, I'll show you the second way uh, to fix the jog. But same as um, is true for the previous way, we are not doing anything in the first round. So I simply take the yarn and start knitting but using the new color for the next stripe. So I'm going to knit this round and at the end of the round I'll show you a new trick. Okay, here we go. The first round in olive color is finished and now it's time to do the magic trick. And the second way to avoid that uh, jog would be to lift the stitch that is below the first live stitch on the left needle. See, this is the, uh, the first stitch in the olive color and below it there is the stitch in the, um, in the golden color. So lift that stitch and place it on the left needle like this. And then knit two stitches together. That's the second way to avoid the jog. Basically, we do the same thing we did with slipping. We kind of even out the line of stitches so this change of color is not visible. And then I'm going to work the second round and we'll see how this way of fixing the jog looks after the round is finished. Okay, and the last stitches of the stripe and now we can take a look at the work. And that's how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna rearrange the needles so you could better see um, the, the jog that is not there, that disappeared. Here we go. See the, the jog? I'm gonna pull the yarn a bit. Okay, so here we go. The, the jog is not there. See, because we lifted this stitch, it all evened out, which is exactly what we need. And now I'm going to change the color again. This time it's going to be a burgundy stripe and show you the third way to fix the jog. And um, same as true with the previous ways, the third way is going to happen at the, the action actually is going to happen at the beginning of the second round. So for now I just change the color and start working on the first round of the stripe. And once that round is finished, we'll get to the um, third way of fixing the jog. Okay, now we are at the beginning of the second round worked in a new color, this time it's burgundy. And here's the magic trick. Uh, the third way would also have to do with the stitch that is below the live stitch. So we are also looking 
same as uh, was with the second way. We are looking at this stitch that is below the first life stitch on the left needle. But this time we're not picking it up, but we are knitting into it. So this is the lifted increase. We are insert the right needle into that stitch and then pick the yarn, knit the stitch like this, and then knit the life stitch. That's it. We increased one stitch. So that means in the next round, we need to knit these two stitches together. Just remember to do that. Otherwise, you would have a disaster on your hands when you start increasing stitches every time you change the color. So remember to treat these two stitches as one when uh, you work the next round. And I'm going to work this round and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I finished the burgundy stripe and the next color change in my pattern is going to be golden color again. And I'm going to, oh, where is it? It's right here. I'm going to um, knit a few stitches uh, because I want you to see that it is very important to remember to knit two stitches together at the beginning of the next round. So I knit these two stitches together, the lifted increase. And then I knit a few more stitches just to show how all the three ways of fixing the jog work. So now we see, we can see the work better. And let's take a look. So this, the golden stripe, that was our way number one. The green stripe was our way number two. And the burgundy stripe is our way number three. All of them quite effective and fairly easy to do. Here they are, three simple ways to fix the jog. The hat I'm working on is available as a free pattern. The link in the description will take you there. It's a cute and colorful slouchy beanie for toddlers. It's also a project that helps you use up the leftover yarns. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Thursday.